right, ladies and gentlemen, the YouTube citizens, y'all know what time it is. It's another Black Ops 3 commentary video, and this is your boy that's true for it up. <laughs> like I said, man, I got a lot of these gameplays, and the actual game come out this Friday. So yeah, man, you know I'm gonna be playing more of that Black Ops 3, and you hearing it right now is Cloud Surfing off of my upcoming beat. I'm on the Kyoto Hour Volume 3 Rising Sun, which comes out next Friday. Friday the 13th, we are in the month of uh, November, rather. And then the day after that, it's Overtime with Nas. Kicking it with him on his um, podcast. Spreaker.com is the place to be for that one. Uh, I want to say it's going to start at 1 a.m. Eastern, 12 a.m. Central. Something along those lines. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that's what it's going to be. So, yeah, enough about that. Let's get on with today's topic. Now, I was going to do this topic last week, but then I remember, oh, snap, the NBA season started that day, and I had to give y'all my picks. Well, nothing stopping me this week, so let's get back into it. So we are talking about Destiny for the third and final time, and this time we're talking about their expansion packs. Now, as you all should know, Destiny came out with three expansion packs within one year. It's ridiculous, I know. So the first one was called The Dark Below. And then after that, which came out, like what? It came out December 14th, three months after the game first released. So this was a year ago, obviously. And then the second one was called The House of Rules, which came out this past May. And as you all know, The Tekken King came out this past September. So within a year, the game came out, and then three expansion packs came out. And that, to me, is ridiculous. Now, The Dark Below and The House of Wolves, they both cost 20 bucks each. So... Looking at that, you may go, eh. Or you could get them both. And where if you get them both, you'll get them both for 35 bucks. So you probably think of it as, okay, let's look at that as a season pass. Because nowadays, all these season passes or expansion packs or whatever, they normally cost around 30 to 40 bucks anyway. So, I mean, you know, that's how I took it. I got both of them for, for uh, 35 So I'm like, okay, that's how I look at it, like as a season pass or whatever. But then it came out with the Taken King. And that mug was 40 And that's when I just drew the line. I'm like, no. I'm not doing that. Now, if I was a first-time Destiny player and the Taken King came out, yeah. Because, again, you get the Taken King for 40 And then you get the previous two expensive packs in the game for 20 That's a really good deal. So, if, if I was a first-time um, gamer, you know, as far as Destiny goes, and that, deal, and that, game, and that came out, that Legendary Edition, whatever... Yeah, I would get that. That's a good deal. But as a day one Destiny player, no. Because they don't award the day one Destiny players. I'm about to compare Destiny since nowadays it's trying to be like an MMO. I'm going to compare Destiny to one of the biggest MMOs of all time. And that's World of Warcraft. Now, little did you guys know, I used to play World of Warcraft. I was all up on that game. Ah, uh, let me see. I want to say... That I got the game sometime, I want to say either late 2007 or early 2008. It was sometime before Wrath of the Lynch King came out. And that came out November 13, 2008. So it was like months prior to that. Um, now, let me give y'all some history about the World of Warcraft. Cause there's a, they got a crap ton of expensive packs. And there's another one coming out as well. A new one that was announced this year at Games, at Gamers Con. Uh, is it Gamescom or Gamerscom? No, it's Gamescom, my fault. So, yeah, anywho, um, World of Warcraft, the actual game came out, wow, November 23rd, 2004. So, that's the same year the Pistons won that championship. But, anywho, and then the next defensive pack didn't come out until three years later, which was called the Bunny Crusade. That came out January 15, 2007, in the U.S. Now, when I first started playing World of Warcraft, I got both of them in one. I forgot how much I paid for it, but I remember I got both of them in one. And then ever since then, I've been getting the expansion packs. So um, I got Wrath of the Lynch King, which was pretty out cold. So I got that one day one. And I've been playing that one for a while now. And then um, Cataclysms came out, which came, and that was on December 7, 2010. So two years later, basically. And... I tried to play it, but, and then what happened was I was a part of a guild, actually, 
And then there was some issues, some disputes, and I got kicked out of the guild. And then I stopped playing. And then I took a bit of a hiatus. I'm like, okay, I'm going to stop playing until Cataclysm comes out. And then I'm going to get back on. So I got Cataclysms, which was another 40, I believe. And I got back on for like, what, three weeks or something like that. Then I just stopped playing completely because I wasn't feeling it no more. Once I stopped playing, then I was like, I was off the World of Warcraft bandwagon. But moving on, then um, the next expensive pack, Mists of Pandaria came out. And that was September 25th, 2012. After that, it was the Warlords of Dren Draenor. How you pronounce that crap? That came out November 13th last year. And it was just announced this year that Legion, the newest one, was coming out. And I'm assuming that's coming out next year. Since uh, normally when they announce a new expansion pack, it won't come out for another year. So, I mean, that's what I'm going with. So, but no, again, notice with World of Warcraft, the first expansion didn't come out for a, for three years after the game first came out and then and that was the burning crusade now i will admit that a year later wrath of the lynch king came out but ever since then they just they didn't come out with one every year or whatever you know cataclysm came out two years later and then mr pandera two years later and then warlords uh draenor two years later and legion i'm assuming will be two years later at least two years later so basically what i'm getting at is with this one of the biggest mmos a lot of people complain that oh that's a money grab but yet they come out with expensive packs apparently every two years with the exception of wrath the lynch king which came out a year after the bunny crusade came out you look at destiny three expensive packs within one year that's ridiculous uh, i think that's just pretty retarded um and really that's the main reason why i stopped playing destiny because of that now if the Tiger King was uh, lower in price, like maybe 20 Then yeah, I probably would get that. Not to mention NBA 2K was coming out two weeks later. I'm not going to spend 40 bucks on an expensive pack that I'm going to play for two weeks. That's not happening. So, yeah, there you go with that, man. As you can see, the game is over. And, you know, I did okay with it, man. But, yeah, so, you know, that's basically it with my Destiny uh, commentary. Next week, I'm going to give you all my full review on Black Ops 3. Maybe a, a two-parter with the first part being next week but yeah you are hearing it once again cloud something which is the third and final single of my upcoming beat album do wet and as far as where you can pick up the album hit up true in front of that .com on friday november the 13th it will only cost you two bucks to do so and again the podcast come out a day later overtime with nas um uh, one of the guys from my way entertainment you do not want to miss that man y'all know what this is this is the new jay gatsby aka the new stephen a smith said peace out y'all and see y'all next time yeah